Hey guys, it's Emily and today I'm writing another book in the Twisted Tale series. One of my goals for 2021 is to catch up on the Twisted Tale series, so every month I'm going to be reading one of the books in the series, and this month I have picked Reflection by Elizabeth Lim. I am super excited for this one because Mulan is my favorite Disney movie, and so I have very high hopes diving into this one. And I've also heard amazing things about this one specifically, so I cannot wait to see what it's all about. Basically the premise for this one is, what if Mulan had to travel to the underworld? Which I'm curious to see how it will all play out. Just popping in to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa is a sustainable jewelry brand that offers high quality pieces at a fair price. I am so excited to be collaborating with them on today's video because I am absolutely obsessed with their jewelry. I got to pick three different pieces for this collab and I love every single one of them. The first item that I chose is this pair of earrings. I love how cute and dainty they are. I don't really wear earrings anymore since I started working from home, but Ever since I got this pair, I have been wearing them pretty much every single day. I love the little pendants with the star and the moon. I think they are super cute. I have received so many compliments since I have started wearing them, so I think it's fair to say that everyone loves them. I also picked two necklaces. The first one is this one, which I'm actually wearing, and it has a little sun pendant. I'll be honest, one of the reasons why I picked this one is because it reminded me of the sun that Rapunzel sees everywhere in Tangled. But anyway, it's perfect for everyday wear, and it goes great with every outfit. You could even make it a trio and wear it with the earrings that I showed you before so you would have the sun with the necklace and then the moon and the stars with the earrings. Finally, I got this beautiful coin necklace. I love the wings detailing on the pendant and I think it's a very versatile piece. You could easily layer it with other necklaces or just wear it on its own. The pieces start at $39 so you don't have to sacrifice your budget to get high quality jewelry. The pieces are also 100% carbon neutral and they ship worldwide. I absolutely love Ana Luisa and I think their jewelry would make a perfect gift either for yourself or a loved one. If you want to check out Ana Luisa for yourself, make sure to click the link in the description box down below and use my code EMILYB10 to get 10% off on your next order. I would also recommend following them on Instagram and subscribing to their newsletter so you can stay in the know about upcoming sales and new releases. Once again, thank you so much to Ana Luisa for collaborating with me on today's video. Now let's move on to the reading vlog. Okay, so I am about a hundred pages into Reflection by Elizabeth Lim. I'm actually on page 124 and so far I'm enjoying it. The first couple of chapters were really fun to read because it was almost a play-by-play -play of the movie. The book starts off in the middle of the fight scene against the Huns and reading it felt like watching the movie all over again. I thought that was really well done. But the whole underworld situation is fun to read about but I feel like the storyline is a little bit simplistic. Like there's something off about this book for me. I don't know if it's because I have super high expectations for it. Most people who have read this so far say that this is one of their favorite books in the series and so obviously being a big Mulan fan this is something that I have really high expectations about so that might just be that my expectations are too high for what this book actually is but yeah I feel like sometimes it can be a little bit simplistic. I think it would be amazing as a movie though. It kind of reads like I'm watching a movie which is fun and it reads like a Disney movie so I guess this is a good thing but I was kind of expecting a little bit more out of it but I'm only 100 pages into it so obviously things can change. This is a book that has about 400 pages, a little bit over 400 pages so things can change but I'm enjoying the characterizations of the characters. I feel like this is really well done and the characters feel true to themselves. It does feel a little bit weird reading from their perspective but other than that like I'm enjoying the story so far. All right so update time. I am currently on page 280 of Reflection and one thing that I wanted to mention is that I feel like the obstacles that the characters have to go through happen very quickly so they're very easily resolved and I kind of wish that instead of having so many different obstacles that they have to go through 
which really adds some action to the plot and keeps it moving. But I do wish that we saw them struggle through them a little bit more because I feel like every time they encounter an obstacle, they easily find a solution. So like a couple of pages later, they're like, oh, let's try this and it works. And I kind of wish that instead of having like a new obstacle every chapter, that they kind of took their time with the obstacles and we really got to see them struggle and like try to figure out a solution. I just feel like everything comes too easy, like too easily to all of the characters. So I kind of wish that the author took more time to, I don't know, I just feel like it's very easy to fly through, um, which is a good thing in terms of the plot. I think it keeps it moving, it keeps it like interesting and you're always on your toes. But at the same time, it's like, okay, it's not that much of a struggle because they always find a solution. Also, my favorite moments in this book so far have been the time times where Shang and Mulan really dive into their relationship and like where we really get to see them talk. There's two moments specifically where they talk about like their feelings and just about themselves and their hopes and everything. I really loved those moments and um, I'm really glad that they were incorporated because I feel like this is something that this is a bonus that we get from the movie. Like, yes, in the movie we get to see them talk and we get to see their relationship evolve, but in the book the author really dives deeper into that aspect of the movie and I like that about it. Like, I really like their dynamic and just the way they re their relationship works. I just really love those two characters together, so seeing them interact in such a way makes it very interesting for me. So, I have finished reading Reflection by Elizabeth Lim and I'll be honest, it's kind of hard for me to rate or review this book because I did enjoy it. I loved reading it. I felt like it was a Disney movie. It read like a Disney movie and I could totally picture everything that was happening. I loved being back with characters that I knew I loved. I loved the familiarity of it and I didn't feel that taken aback even though it was an entirely new world. I had the familiarity of the main character and Shang obviously to rely on and I liked that about it. It was a super quick read as well. I flew through the book. I enjoyed a lot of things about this but also I cannot help but be disappointed because I was expecting so much more and maybe it's my own fault for putting such high expectations on this book but I just wanted more out of it. I kind of wish that Mushu for example would have been more included because they had a guardian present in the story and I don't see why Mushu couldn't be the one that we followed throughout the story. I think he would have added like a nice comic relief and he's one of my favorite characters. He's one of the reasons why I love these films because he has a comedy aspect to the story and I feel like this would have been even more fun to read if we had had the comedic relief that came with Mushu. I also feel like part of the plot became repetitive especially towards the end. At some point in the book there was this plot device. Basically Mulan hallucinates and at first it's caused by this tea. She gets over it and that's fine but then it happens again towards the end of the book and I was like really you're gonna use the same thing that happened before for like this big outcome. I don't know, I just, it felt kind of disappointing. But then there was another obstacle at the end and honestly like the last 50, maybe 100 pages was so good because it was everything that I wanted to see happen throughout the entire story. Meaning that they had that one big obstacle that just felt insurmountable. And in the end, obviously like it's kind of a Disney movie. So it hasn't happily ever after, but I don't know. I I loved how this played out. Like I loved the action and like the tension of that scene. And I wish the rest of the story had taken more of this type of turn, I guess. I don't really know how to explain it. I just wish the story had been more like that throughout the entire book. Rather than having like a lot of obstacles throughout the book, I would have much rather see less obstacles, but more struggles than what we saw in the book. I just feel like it was kind of an easy path for the characters to follow. I feel like everything came super easily to them. So that last scene was really amazing, honestly, like compared to the rest, I just felt like it was what I wanted out of this story when I first picked it up. So I don't really know how to rate this because I'm trying to also to think of other books that I've rated in the series so far and like my enjoyment of them. So this is definitely higher than a three stars for me, but I don't think it's quite at a four out of five stars. So I'm thinking maybe a 3.5. I don't know for sure like so far I'm gonna settle on a 3.5 but to be honest like it's kind of a hard one for me to rate because like I said there's a lot of elements that I did enjoy but there's also quite a few things that did disappoint me. I like the writing by the way and I know Elizabeth Lim has written another Mulan retelling and I would be willing to pick that one up. I am curious to see what she will have done with uh, So This Is Love which is another Tell book. This one is Cinderella and apparently it's really good. I'm looking forward to reading that one because so far like this one was good but like I said a little bit disappointing but that's probably because I'm such a big Mulan fan and like everything is put to such a high standard. So yeah, 
I enjoyed it, but it's not my favorite one that I've read in this series so far. So, to end this video, before we wrap things up, if, like me, you're a big Mulan fan and you want even more Mulan stories, I have a couple of recommendations for you. Some of them I've read, some of them I haven't read, and they're on my TBR, and uh, I'll dive into the ones that I have. Before I forget, I want to say that Nicole in her books has done a video where she reads Mulan retellings. Like, I think she reads, like, eight maybe even more than that. So if you want to see even more recommendations, I will leave the link to her video in the description box down below so that you can check that out. But um, let me start with the ones that I have read. Some of these are not Mulan retellings, but they have the same vibes. So first one is A Flame in the Mist. This is a sequel, Smoke in the Sun, by Renee Audier. This one is a Mulan retelling, so it follows the main character... <laughs> Mariko, I want to say. And uh, Mariko is betrothed to the Emperor's son, I think, and uh, she's sent to uh, the Emperor, but her carriage gets ambushed on her way to the Emperor's palace. Now Mariko wants revenge, so she pretends to be a soldier and she will infiltrate that crew and try to get her revenge from within. And I really enjoyed the first book. It's been a while since I read it and I haven't read the sequel yet, but it's a duology. I love Renee Audie's writing. I love her characters and I felt like it was a really good Mulan story. I did really enjoy it. I don't remember a lot from it because I read it like quite a while ago but if you're looking to get like a Mulan retelling I think this one is a good place to start. Okay so the second book that I wanted to recommend is actually not a Mulan retelling but it has a lot of similarities and it reminded me a lot of Mulan. So that book is Shadow of the Fox by Jolie Kagawa. This is a sequel Soul of the Sword. It's a trilogy. So this follows our main character Yumeko who is a kitsune or she's half kitsune something like that. Yumeko has been raised by a group of monks. They protect a scroll that's very important. Well they protect part of a scroll because if the scroll like if all of the parts of that scroll are reunited the person who has all of the parts will be able to raise a great demon that has been kept asleep for thousands of years. So one day Yumeko comes home to find that the temple she's been raised in is on fire and like everyone inside is either dead or dying. So one monk, I don't remember exactly who, I think like the head of the temple, tells Yumeko to run away with the scroll and to get it to this other temple who has another part of it, they will be able to protect the scroll and Yumeko. So Yumeko runs away, but she meets this boy on the way and he is after the scroll. But what he doesn't know is that one, Yumeko is half kitsune and two, that she has the scroll. But Yumeko still manages to strike a deal with that person and tells him that she will take him to the scroll if he is able to take her to that temple. I wanna say this is set in Japan and I know Mulan is set in China but there were a lot of similarities between the two plots for starters like there's a lot of deception and like lies and pretending to be someone you're not because Yumeko is hiding her true identity to uh, Tatsumi who is the boy that she's traveling with. I also feel like some of the characters were quite similar for instance in the second book specifically there's a character that reminded me a lot of Mushu because of the way of his humor I would say like just the way he behaved reminded me like the comments that he made reminded me a lot of like comments that Mushu would have made and as a whole like the story is super enjoyable it's a super underrated fantasy story and I highly recommend it if you guys haven't checked it out yet. I haven't read the last book in the trilogy yet but I've loved both two books that I've read so far in the series so would totally recommend if you're looking to get like the Mulan vibes but not necessarily like a specific retelling. So the next two books that I wanted to talk about are books that I have not read but they are on my TBR and I know they are Mulan retellings. The first one is Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. This is the same author who wrote uh, Reflection which is right here. So this is the first book in a duology. This is another Mulan retelling but this one is Mulan meets Project Runway. I don't know too much about the plot. I know it's about a girl who wants to become a tailor for the emperor and she enters this competition but the thing is this competition is for men only so she pretends to be her father I think or to be a man uh, in order to be entered into the competition so obviously the Mulan aspects plays a big part in this plot and I'm very excited because I've heard amazing things about it also this cover is absolutely stunning and since I did like Reflection I am quite looking forward to reading this one and finally we have The Magnolia Sword by Sherry Thomas I'll be honest this one I know pretty much nothing about. I've heard that this is an amazing Mulan retelling. I think this one is more so based on the legend of Mulan, which is like the original tale that inspired the film. But I don't know. I haven't heard anything really about it. But when I saw this, I was like, oh my god, I need it. And I've heard it's absolutely amazing. I mean, it's Mulan, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy this. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check them out. The link will be in the description box down below and you can use my code AmelieB10 to get 10% off on your next order. And I guess that's it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!